Mr. Comey has a good background, but uh, there's nothing there, uh, so far as it appears. Nothing there. So he wrote the letter to the eight Republican committee chairs, copy to the Democrats, saying, uh, you know, some emails uh, have turned up. We've looked at a lot of emails, and now it turns out there are even more emails. We don't know what's there. So there's absolutely no evidence whatsoever that could be of interest to anyone until we conduct our multi-week, multi-month investigation. But I thought you'd all just like to know. Uh, I don't get that. Uh, that's violative of any number of uh, Justice Department protocols and procedures. Now, we should have gone to the public integrity section and say, what do you folks think? As I think you're aware, I see a big difference between the the R candidate and the D candidate, and I've been at some pains to say that uh, I fear for the country if Mr. Trump should be elected. Uh, I think uh, it's, a, it's a candidacy without any parallel uh, that I can recall. It's uh, content free and uh, very much given to stirring up uh, envy and resentment and even hatred. Uh, and it's, um, I think it would be a threat to the conduct of our uh, uh, foreign policy and our position in the world at large. You know, we're getting to the point where we're, uh, we're impinging on democratic institutions in this country. And I think, uh, you know, it, it, it takes a certain, uh, not suspension of disbelief, but a, a willingness to go along with other people to get the ship of state going forward. I'm not sure that happens in a Trump presidency, frankly. Well, he doesn't deal well with criticism and blame. Uh, and I don't think he could uh, competently manage the office of the presidency, given the uh, the criticism and the challenge that you face every single day as president of the United States. He just would not be uh, in his uh, element, and, and I think he would wobble off course. And I think the country just can't have that. I'm here vouching for Mrs. Clinton, and I think it's high time somebody did, and I'm doing it based on my personal experience with her, and uh, I, I think she's deserves to have people uh, vouch for her other than members of the Democratic National Committee, mm -hmm. so I'm here to do that. I mean, I've known her for 40 years. I've worked with her. I know her well professionally. I know her well personally. I know her to be uh, uh, a person of high moral character, uh, a reliable person, uh, and uh, an honest person. Uh, however so much uh, Mr. Trump may rant and rave uh, to the contrary. You've had a fascinating career, and I really appreciate your time Thank to come in and talk to me so about much. this night. Okay. Good luck, sir. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Thank you. All right. Governor Bill Weld is the vice presidential nominee of the Libertarian ticket. That was the most interesting political conversation I've had about this election in months.